Armenian's world. We are anonymous. So, Armenia has de facto suspended its participation in the key security agreement with Russia, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan said, citing the continuing tensions with its neighbor, and arch-rival, Azerbaijan. In an interview with the corrupted media, France 24, that was published on Thursday, February 22, 2024, Pashinyan said, that his country has grown dissatisfied with the Collective Security Treaty Organization, a six-member bloc, founded shortly after the breakup of the Soviet Union. Everything that is happening in the Caucasus, is by NATO's design. NATO brought Pashinyan to power, to help expand NATO's territory eastward through Turkey, connecting to Azerbaijan, and then into Central Asia. If anyone thinking Azerbaijan is an ally of Russia, is sadly mistaken. The reality is, their entire political orientation is aligned with NATO member, Turkey, and they're even teaching the young children that Azerbaijan is a territory of Turkey. The problem with that, is that Russia did not support Armenia when it came under attack from Turkey, Pakistan, and Azerbaijan, and lost credibility. NATO is now aiming to bring the weak corrupt Armenia in their global warmongers club. Armenia will pose a real security challenge to both Russia and Iran. Once NATO infects it, Russia really needs to pay special attention to southern borders, and arm, Iran, to the max, because the collective West agenda, is the total destruction of Russia, and control of all its immense wealth. Their plan is, to connect Turkey through Armenia, to the Caucasus, and into Central Asia, a British plan devised after the collapse of the Ottoman Empire, they are pursuing that plan to this day. If Russia allows Armenia to get conquered, all of Caucasus will become NATO's backyard, and NATO's influence will expand tremendously into Central Asia. Russia can then expect repeated Ukraine scenarios simultaneously. Throughout its borders, Russia did not go against Azerbaijan simply because, Azerbaijan was in their rights to get back the disputed Nagorno-Karabakh area, which was illegally occupied by Armenia for decades. Armenia used that as a pretext, to move in the United States military camp. American Armenians have strong influence in the Congress, and they want Armenia to turn its back to Russia, and hamper Russia's huge road projects to link Asia to Europe, that would benefit Russia and all the region. To the people of Armenia, be warned, your government is about to turn Armenia, into another Ukraine conflict. The only way to stop it, is to take your country back, before NATO and the collective corrupted West, get their filthy hands in it, with their false promises, false hopes, and of course, false flags. They will destroy and abandon all of you, and Europe will never accept Armenians as Europeans. Keep that in mind. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. To all dictators and all terrorist states alike, expect us.